hello guys uh, welcome back to CFS designer video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through light gauge shear wall in a multi-story building let us go back to CFS all right once I open this I'll go under shear walls I'll say stacked option okay I can select maximum of eight stories but I'll be selecting just four for now and if seismic design parameters if any I have my code over here I'll select my design method I'll enter my loads I'll say I have 10 foot panel and 10 foot height now I do not have any additional applied cord axial loads or additional applied cord moments let's go to shear wall data in here um, I'll be selecting 0 0.033 inch steel sheet similarly on all the levels actually once that is done I can select on two sides if required make sure this and this can be 33 mil or 54 mil whichever required now edge fastener spacing I'll go for 4 on the edges and 12 in the interior Once that is done, let's see our number summary. How does it look? It looks really, really bad. Uh, so this might require a lot. Let me go back, change my loads a little bit. That way it's not very heavy. All right, let's see now. That works. If I try, let me change this to 412 again. Yeah, that is fine. Now coming to my end studs, so which is bad. Let me go back to parts and hold lines over here. Now again coming to hold lines, you can you need to do it manually because it doesn't consider the dead load. So whatever the net uplift you get minus dead load on the panel divided by two. Whatever the dead load is coming on this panel, you divide it by two and subtract. The net uplift then you get your total net uplift my cord sections let me select 54 50 back to back 54 50 back to back let's see how it looks so far so good So this requires a heavier gauge member. Still. So as you can see this is still 1.5 so at the bottom level you will need 4 end studs. 600 yes 268 4 end studs instead of just two and whereas on the three levels above you just need back to back two end starts that should be okay now let's change this 
yeah if you have 10 for 60 inches is at midpoint so that is okay uh, I'm not gonna do anything with the whole lance so this is how it is done do we have any errors it looks like yes we do 54 mil and thicker studs are required to have a 550 what do we have oh this one that is done cord thickness does not match framing thickness Something doesn't make sense over here. Uh, since I selected 54 mil, I need to select uh, even this 54 mil. Anyways, so based on the ratio, let's do this as 200. Oh, it doesn't work. I mean, 200. Oh, sorry. So once I do that, 600 is 254. My ratio goes to 0.99. Similarly, on level 1, it goes to 1.52. So I need 4 end starts of 600 as 5 as 254, 50 KSI. Back to back. Now this is how you do uh, a light gauge shear wall for a multi-story building. You do know how to uh, get the loads like using rigid diaphragm analysis. And once you go to summary report, you should get all the data. I mean, all the results required. You have your uh, sheeting information. Then. You have your stack share wall summary report, your loads, combination loads, cord loads, impression loads, nothing but, and then interaction ratios. Finally, you have your factored net uplift. Now, this uplift doesn't subtract the dead load in it, so we need to take this uplift and subtract the dead load that comes onto the panel. That is, and then you get it, then you get your hold down from the Simpson catalog. This is how you do a uh, multi-story light gauge shear wall. If you have any comments, please mention below. Thank you for watching the video. This would be the end of the CFS de designer video tutorials.